Thank you, Mr. Speaker. My question is to the Minister for the Environment and Energy. Will the Minister update the House on how the government is focusing on lower power bills for households and businesses across Australia, including in my home state of Victoria? Is the Minister aware of any contrary proposals that would increase the burden on Australian families? The Minister for the Environment and Energy. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I thank the member for Dunkley because he is focused on delivering lower power prices for businesses and families throughout his electorate, like Replis and Seafood, Seafood, who turn plastics into pallets and deck boards, like Sims Metal, like the car yards, like the retail shopping strips across Frankston and across his electorate, Mr. Speaker. Now, we won't take lectures from the Labor Party when it comes to energy because when they were in office, Prices went up each and every year, Mr. Speaker. They gave us the dreaded carbon tax. They gave us the dreaded citizens assembly. They gave us the dreaded cash for clunkers. What about the green loans? And what about that scheme, the pink bats, Mr. Speaker? Not to mention fuel watch, grocery watch. What a mess it was from Labor. No wonder the member for Port Adelaide wrote a book where he said we made mistakes, we sent mixed messages because you drove power prices up, Mr Speaker. In contrast, under the Prime member Minister for of the, uh, the member for Wentworth, Mr Speaker, we have been able to intervene in the gas markets. Prices have come down by up to 50 per cent. We have taken action to rein in the power of the networks, which, if the Labor Party had done it previously, would have saved Australian consumers over $6 billion. We are able to get better deals for 1.8 million households. Mr. Speaker. Wholesale prices are down around 25 per cent this year, and retail prices came down in Queensland, South Australia and New South Wales on 1 July. And today we have announced the next step in our energy plan implementing the ACCC's recommendation. And this is what the Australian Chamber of Commerce said about the Prime Minister and the Treasurer and my announcements today. This is a great announcement. This is a good, strong action which will help bring prices down and bring relief to businesses and families. That's from the Aki, Mr Speaker. What did National Seniors say about the government's announcement today? We welcome this. This is what we've called for. This was based on what our members have told us, Mr. Speaker. What they're talking about is a default offer for 1.2 million Australians who no longer will be on the higher price standing offers. We'll see up to a $416 saving, Mr. Speaker. Businesses will see up to a $1,457 saving. We'll now have the ACCC as a permanent cop on the beat monitoring the market and equipped with new enforcement powers to stamp out behaviour. And we'll be implementing Recommendation 4 to get more dispatchable power, new generation, more competition for large commercial and industrial customers. So, Mr Speaker, at the end of the day, the Labor Party will deliver you higher power prices, the Coalition will deliver you lower power prices, more jobs, more investment and the a better deal for Australian families and businesses.